Aloha from Sydney. Uh, my name is Nick and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience. Just over a year and a half ago, uh, I started experiencing some sensations in my head that uh, quickly became known to me as my headaches. Uh, these sensations started one day from nowhere and continued uh, without stopping uh, every day, all the time. Uh, and I went to see all the doctors that you go to see. I went to see my GP, my neurologist. I went to see uh, ear, nose and throat specialists. I went to see sleep specialists. I went to see uh, heart specialists. I had all the blood tests. I had all the scans. I had everything that they could possibly do. And everyone kept saying to me, nothing's wrong with you. Uh, but obviously something was wrong because I was experiencing this pain in my head. Uh, then I started looking at all sorts of other ways of how do I fix myself uh, and I came across, uh, well I went to see a psychologist and, and spoke to her and I went to see uh, an integrative clinician who does uh, sort of chiropractic, does kinesiology, acupuncture, all those sorts of things uh, and supplements and was taking everything I possibly could, was getting poked and prodded in every way I possibly could to try and make me feel better. Some of the things I have to say did work a little bit, so doing a bit of work with a psychologist, that helped for a bit, but only for a little bit, and then a few days later I'd feel like crap again. And then, just before Christmas last year, I stumbled across this guy called Brian online and I started, I read his book and, and it sort of connected to me and I thought, you know, this, this sounds and feels pretty good, this feels pretty amazing. So I reached out to Brian and, and uh, organised a, a quick call with him and Brian gave me a call one day when he was in his car in Hawaii and I was at home in my house in Sydney and Straight away, Brian said to me, I think I can help you. And he got me to sit down at home, and this is just on the phone, uh, him in his car, on his, on his car phone. And he just started talking to me, and I sat down and I closed my eyes and he, he got me breathing. And I sat down and he talked to me for five minutes, and then he hung up the phone on me. And he told me he was going to do this and he also said just once you've done that just take some time and really feel what's happening. And then I think I pro probably had the most productive two days I'd had in, in the last year uh, in those next two days. And I realised right there and then that something special had happened and that Brian had a way of being able to understand me uh, and who I was and to help me. And so I followed that up with a couple of further conversations with Brian and we talked about potentially doing some, some work together uh, and the options came up and I decided to take the plunge and I jumped on a plane to Hawaii just after New Year's and I spent four days at Brian's place in Hawaii uh, and it was an amazing time I have to say. Uh, I went there I went there thinking that I needed to fix the pain in my head and maybe naively I went there thinking that Brian would just magically pull the pain out of my head. And Brian and I spent a couple of days together and it was amazing. The stuff he was doing was, was, was just, just brilliant. Uh, he was doing things with me, uncovering issues or things that I'd been sort of stuck with my spells as he as he calls them uh, things that I thought I dealt with with my psychologist through other things I'd done in the past but I realized when I did it with Brian that I hadn't actually dealt with them I hadn't released them I hadn't done what I needed to do with them and Brian helped me to actually really and truly get to the source of where these things were coming from and really understand it for the first time in my life and we did two days and then I had a day off where I did a lot of writing and a lot of, uh, a lot of thinking and I started panicking because I was still having sensations of pain in my head. And 
on the third day when I went to see Brian, I wasn't in a good way and, and Brian took me in and sat me down and we, we explored that. And what I came to realise was that I hadn't gone to Hawaii to fix my headaches. I'd really gone to Hawaii to, I guess, understand me. And that's what I realised is that I felt that the world didn't understand me. But when I realised that I am everything, then it really meant that I didn't understand me. And if I didn't understand me, how could I possibly expect anyone else in the world to understand me? And so for the next two days, Brian and I did a lot more work together and I finished up with Brian and I was feeling amazing. And I jumped on the plane back to Australia. And before I'd left to go and see Brian, I would have you know, a day where I'd do a little bit of activity you know, maybe do something with the kids and then I'd have to spend the next day or two in bed feeling sorry and miserable for myself, feeling like my head was going to explode and that I felt like I had some sort of chronic fatigue syndrome or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I couldn't do anything and therefore life was miserable. Uh, life was miserable for me, life was miserable for my wife, my life was miserable for my kids. So fast forward, I'm jumping on the plane to go back to Australia and I'm feeling great. And I got back to Australia and I've now been back in Australia for nearly two months and I haven't stopped. I haven't had to lie down once, I haven't had to feel sorry for myself, I haven't had to say, oh, I feel crap. I haven't had to slow down, I haven't had to tell my kids, sorry guys, I can't do something with you because I need to lie down. I haven't had to say that to my wife. And I've also uh, had started to begin the journey of really expanding the relationships with the people in my life and expanding my understanding of myself. And I think the two go hand in hand. The more I understand myself, the more I can have better relationships with everyone around me. What I know for sure is that I'm 100% on the right path. I know that Brian has, as he said, he's reminded me of who I am and that I can create whatever I want in this world and if I prefer something to be some way then I just have to create that. But it also reminded me that you can't just create something if you don't understand what lies beneath it and so I have had to work out and the I guess part of what I've tried to do is I have a very analytical mind so I've tried too hard to work some stuff out what I've realized is that I now need to let things come up more and let them show me who I am and how I want to feel and then follow that rather than trying to work out like a formula what my life should be like and how I should be and how I can fix myself because firstly there's nothing to fix secondly there's no formula that's going to tell me what to do what I need to do is really embrace the fact that I am everything and that I can be anything that I want to be I just have to let that into my life so I can't recommend highly enough uh, the work that Brian does and, and the reminder that he bring, br brought to me and the reminder that he will bring to anyone who listens to him and is willing to open up their heart and their mind to what he has to offer. What he offers is, is very simple, is that you have to understand that you are the creator of this universe, you are the infinite eternal being and that you can be anything that you want to be but you have to open yourself up to that and you have to let that into your life and then you have to be able to then project that out and that will create anything you want in the world. I'm still a work in progress but I think the progress is amazing and I, I can't thank Brian enough for, for how far I've come from, from when I started this journey. And I know that uh, Brian and I will do a lot more stuff together. Uh, it's Life is 
as he says, it's about experiencing stuff. And, and what I'm doing now is I'm experiencing things. For the first time in a long time, I'm actually really opened up to ex actually experiencing life and all the amazing things it has to offer. And the amazing things aren't always good. Sometimes they feel, feel like they're bad. But when you breathe through it and you, you open yourself up, you understand that those experiences are, are all there to help you along that journey that is our life in this physical body. Uh, so Brian, thank you for everything and I really do recommend anyone who uh, is, is worried or is thinking about it or isn't sure what to do, to give it a go. To read Brian's book, uh, to take one of his courses and, and if, you, if you can do it, and I'm sure you all can, uh, is, you know, uh, try and get some one-on-one -on -one time with him as well. Uh, you know, even if it's just a Zoom call, or if you can get over to Hawaii and, and spend some time with him, because I guarantee you it will change your life. So thank you again, Brian, and I look forward to uh, all the amazing things that we're going to do together in the future. Uh, and also I hope that uh, this helps some other people to, to see that anything is possible uh, and that the world around you is whatever, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Uh, and so don't let it hold you back. Don't let anything hold you back. Open yourself up and let yourself go and, and you can be whatever you want to be. Aloha and thank you very much.